What's cracking with your snack and snacker stars? It's me, me, the BRE, the man in the backwards hat, Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society. And today I'm back at Wendy's to try their latest iteration of the spicy chicken sandwich. Will it knock my socks off? Will it singe my nose hairs? We'll find out right after this on OTR. You are looking live at Wendy's on the corner of King Street and Chesterfield Road in Arlington, Virginia, right on the border of Alexandria, which is right across the street, uh, across from the Summit Center where I've reviewed pretty much everything there is to review in there from every restaurant and uh, busy, busy King Street in the middle of the afternoon, right around lunchtime. What's for lunch today? Well, it comes to us from Wendy's, of course, and it's in this red capsule right here. All right, so let's open it up and see what we got inside here. Yes, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The brand new, or not so brand new, it's been a couple weeks now at least, Wendy's Spicy Sriracha Chicken Sandwich. And what we basically have here at the heart of it is the traditional Wendy's Spicy Chicken Sandwich uh, filet or patty, whichever they serve, I forget. And I think it's a filet and also uh, some applewood bacon, but that's where it kind of goes off the hinges with the sriracha because not only does it have that stuff that's underneath all this leafy crap, uh, which is a sriracha aioli, the cheese that you see on there is a sriracha jack cheese and this bun has sriracha infused inside it. Now, one thing I will say, I'm glad they didn't go the Burger King way and dye this thing like bright red because it's got sriracha inside it. But uh, it smells fairly spicy. Once again, I am just made at the amount of uh, quote unquote spring greens mix or whatever this is that they put on there, not uh, into arugula and whatnot. And when you mix it with that sauce, it basically becomes like, um, you know, like in the fall when uh, there's a lot of leaves on the ground and it rains and you kind of step on those. It's kind of like that. Okay, well anyway, let's find out how this sandwich is by taking a bite of it and showing you more right after this on OTR. Three, two, one. Alright gang, I'm back to check out this spicy sriracha chicken sandwich here at our Wendy's in the uh, Washington DC area or at least in Arlington anyway it's five dollars and eighty nine cents prior to tax and it was like six forty eight after tax uh, you get combos for, for somewhere in the eight or nine dollar range show it next to you next to my noggin the way I always do for uh, scope and focus let you know what you're getting into alright guys show you that a little bit more closely there yeah there it is one thing I hadn't mentioned is it also has this big red, red nasty piece of onion there. I'm not into red onion so much, but we'll see what happens. All right, let me take a bite. The heat doesn't hit you right away, but it does start to build very quickly, but then it doesn't last for very long. Let me get another bite or two into this thing and uh, see how hot it is and if it really gives me a sense of being hit over the head like sriracha cha 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 all right once you really start eating that thing the heat does build and it does stay around for a little while and i definitely feel the zing man wow now like i was saying the flavor of sriracha is not like omnipotent there it's not like the only thing you taste there is some of it there and i would think with a sriracha bun with sriracha cheese and sriracha aioli that it would be just like that sweet you know hot flavor that you get from sriracha uh the whole way through but no it had notes of that but it was mostly a very well made spicy chicken sandwich you know a little bit higher end version of what they already have in my opinion um Low lights would be the the summer greens because summer are green and summer are not ha 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 But anyway uh, Not really ever been into those they get in the way and the thing that I've always complained about is they tend to put the sauce up here with the greens and it gets all goopy and soggy and Makes it hard to hold and handle they should put it underneath the sauce that is underneath Where there's nothing on that patty right there anyway uh, 
good chicken taste, good spice, not overly sriracha fied. Uh, veggies are man. So, all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a two thirds of a thumbs up. Pretty good, but you know, not something I'd come back for again and again, especially for about six bucks because you can get better burgers and things like that for six bucks elsewhere. Thinking, speaking of which, Speaking of which, there, it should be a burger version of this, don't you think? A couple of huge trucks just going by right there. But anyway, a burger version of this would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, what do you think? Tell me about that in the comments down below. Also down below, find our description, and in that description, you'll find the link to our Facebook group with hundreds of the coolest people in the world that are in the group, and you should be too. Why aren't you? Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at BrandonReichSAS. When you do, use the hashtag Snack Society all day, woo, every day. And uh, my voice is cracking up here, but also you want to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And in the meantime, in between time, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.